critical foreign policy meetings to stave off war in Europe came to a halt on a Marseille street today, when King Alexander of Yugoslavia was assassinated by a lone gunman. The assassin was quickly sliced down by a sabre-carrying horse guard, then set upon by the angry crowd. In the pandemonium, it was an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. She said, my war was filled with love and laughter. Yes, there were deaths, yes, there were tears, but love and laughter. And she just, you know, she was a flower that bloomed in wartime. I was a Kiwi girl in a hurry. Yes, this is Nancy Wake in Marseille. A world away from home, far from New Zealand, far from Australia. This was just the beginning. Soon, I'd be a spoilt French society wife, a German-hating resistance fighter, the Nazis' most wanted woman, codenamed the White Mouse, and a hard-drinking, foul-mouthed special agent, trained to kill. Could this really be my story? If you'd told me then, I'd have said you were bloody dreaming. She made the best of the war, and the war made the best of her. I mean, they got, they got a lot from Nancy Wake. She was a, she was the real deal. So there she is, um, drop dead gorgeous, New Zealand Australian woman, learning French, working at working as a journalist. So she'd strut up and down the boulevards and go to the restaurants, and she formed great friendships with her fellow journalists, most of whom were men who looked after her. And, you know, the French have always valued, no joke, a gorgeous woman of whom she was one. So then I ran back to my hotel and typed up the story. <laughs> right place, right time. You were born lucky, Nancy. Born to attract trouble. 